your life. Hello there. You're in a dangerous spot tonight for wine time. The kitchen with Heidi. People don't come in here for a good reason. Mostly because I make them sick, like I did my husband when we first got married 27 years ago. I cooked for him three nights in a row, and how many of those were you sick, dear? Uh, I plead the fifth. <laughs> Needless to say, those were the last meals I ever cooked for him. That was a well-executed strategy. I know. So, for tonight's wine time, I'm starting with a little example. This is my brain, and this is my brain on pandemic time. Scrambled eggs, yes. I took a little time off last week because I think it's getting to us all, and I'm not any different than most of you, so we're going through it. What are you going to do? Put a bridal veil on. I took time off, and I'm drinking a lot of wine these days. This wine is from Cork It Again, our friends at Cork It Again in downtown Davis. They make really nice recommendations. I've had Neshoba Wines, uh, another varietal that they recommended a couple of weeks ago. And this is gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna butcher the name, darling. Sazawa. Sazawa. It's a Sazawa 2017. Never had it. And it's really delicious. I'm gonna have this with a steak and chimichurri sauce later tonight. But I have to say, it's already drinkable, just as it is, and it's going to go great with my appetizer that hopefully won't make me sick, because I made it. What am I wearing? Well, this was my anniversary this past week, so I had to pull the veil out, and I have a point to make about it. But before I do, my time off, I spent a little bit of it in Los Gatos. It's one of my very favorite communities to shop in. Downtown NorCal used to just be easy and breezy and fun, and I would blog about places I like to go. And there's even a blog, at some point I did it last year, where I mapped out where I typically go. This dress I found on the summer closeout rack at Jennifer Kroll. Now normally I don't buy summer closeout because I never know what size I'm going to be next year, and if I keep going at this rate, ew. but it's stretchy, see? Also, really classic lines. It's not in any particular fad for the year. So this is going to get me through for a while. I went ahead and splurged at Jennifer Kroll. She's in front of a place I love to take my husband. Guys, listen up. The library. The owner is a really cool dude. He will sit there and chat with you, offer you a little booze if you need that. Nice, nice stuff, but at affordable, at affordable prices. So you can check out the library. There, she's right in front of him, and then right next door is the maid's quarters, which is the most glorious bedding store you can imagine, bed, bed and bath kind of arrangement. And then right out the back, a really pretty garden. What I love about Los Gatos, we went to many of my favorites, but it's so dog friendly. So if you see the dogs running around, they got to go too, they had a great time. And I checked in on my favorites because I wanted to know how things were going outside of my typical Yellow County area right now. And they're really hanging in there, I have to say. I've been watching them on their social media and staying attentive to them. And I've been worried, but they're still going. I did hear some hard stories. They're worried. Um, for example, the, my favorite lingerie boutique she has had to let go of all of her employees. It is just her running the entire show. And she has a loved one who is uh, down with COVID and in a nursing home. And so imagine that, you're a small business owner, all of that is on your shoulders. And I bring her up in particular because, again, why am I wearing bridal? Well, I really wanted to check in on a bridal store there. You know, I was able to, dry, to try on my bridal gown when I got married. I was able to try on as many things as I wanted, and that was a lot of fun, including this veil, which apparently hasn't held up well over the years. <laughs> That's okay. Anyway, I got to try it on, and I think the bridal industry is struggling because, of course, brides are making different decisions. They're not having the blowout weddings that they used to, 
And if they are getting married, they're much smaller affairs, or they're delaying, and so can the bridal industry sustain? But one thing I learned from the favorite lingerie store is that bridal lingerie is big, and that would include items for guys. So whoever you are, if you're getting married, and if you know someone who's getting married, that's something you can definitely splurge on, but do keep in mind those bridal stores and the importance of them as we go forward. They need to survive this pandemic as well. Let's see, uh, there, was a, there were a couple of closures that concerned me. Again, I'm always looking, about the, looking into the restaurant industry. A lot of restaurants were open, and that's thankful, you know, we're so thankful that the fires have settled down and they went through a really tough time of not being able to serve outside, but again, people are coming back and enjoying good food and wine outside. But one restaurant did shut down and it was important to me and it was sentimental because it was important to the negotiation that occurred to save the Yolo Crisis Nursery. And I really appreciated that meeting spot where I used to always meet with my friend Daryl to get that done. So, since I took this week off, that's about what I have to say, except that on Monday I did go ahead and post a movie that I had worked on last Friday, and that was for Explore at Science Center. And they've got some really terrific camps for your kids, so check that out, please. Because God knows if I had to go to Explore at Science Center, which is a lovely place, by the way, but I met with a skink and a spider the size of my husband's hand. Show him your hand. No, I don't. And, and a very, yes, it was that big. And a snake. You can do me the courtesy of watching that video. I will be back with a whole new collection next week and a very special event next weekend that I will tell you about at wine time next Saturday night. But until then, in honor of those businesses that have made that hard decision to close, it is not your fault. And I just want to toast you and say you may be closed, but you are still awesome. Cheers.